The threat of a cyber attack. The Department of Homeland Security says they've seen 50,000 recent incursions or attempts. That's just on government computers. So what about your home computer or your laptop? As we put cybersecurity in focus this morning, our Ted Rollins takes a look at how easy it is for someone to hack right into your laptop. Inside Terminal 5 at the Los Angeles International Airport, dozens of people are on their computers. Gregory Evans is a former hacker whose resume includes two years in federal prison. We were doing almost a million dollars, if not more, a week against some of the biggest corporations in the world. We set up in a corner of the terminal so that Evans, who now owns a cybersecurity company, could show us just how vulnerable people are to hackers. I will go and set up a fake Wi-Fi and watch everybody connect to it. And once they connect to it and they start surfing the internet, now what I'll do is just grab all their traffic. We launched a fake network named LAX Free Wi-Fi. Within minutes, people started connecting to it. Evans then showed us how a hacker can record everything off a computer that joined our network by tracking what I was doing on my laptop. So if they go to their bank, it'll grab all their banking information. If they go to their Facebook, it'll grab all that. Their Twitter accounts, if they're writing love letters, I can grab all of that. Or, Evan says even worse, if a hacker has enough time, spyware can be installed, which stays with the victim. You get on the plane, you go to one country, I go to another. But everything that you do, as long as you have that computer, is going to be emailed back to me. During our experiment, we stumbled across what appeared to be a real hacker at work. Along with our fake network, there was another one called Free Public Wi-Fi. Airport administrators told us T-Mobile is the only authorized Wi-Fi provider. So you think that there could be a hacker here right now? That's correct. Catching and prosecuting a hacker, especially at an airport, is extremely difficult. E.J. Hilbert is a retired FBI agent who specialized in cybercrime. It's virtually impossible to catch him. Law enforcement's aware of this, and there's always the next piece. You steal the cards, you steal the information, you got to use them somewhere. And that's when you start getting the real investigations going. Experts say there are a few things you can do to protect yourself. If you're at an airport or a public spot, find out who the Wi-Fi provider is and use that. If it costs some money, pay the money. They also say change your password every now and then and use different passwords for different accounts. Another tip, turn your computer off when you're not using it. And if you do go online using a public Wi-Fi, keep in mind that someone may be watching you. You don't know if you're getting on a true Wi-Fi or you're connecting to some hacker's network. Like, you don't know if you're connecting to me or if you're really connecting to the airport. Ted Rollins, CNN, Los Angeles.